Hello and welcome everyone to yet another episode of how open source changed the world. Today's topic of discussion is cloud computing. This video is brought to you by GNU Linux Users Group and IT Durgapur. So if you haven't yet liked this video, like and share this video right now and subscribe to the channel for more technologically oriented content. You can follow us on social media. The handles are given in the description below. Do not forget to click on the bell button to receive updates as soon as we upload new videos. If you lose your data on your phone, you can instantly get it back through the cloud today. Seamless sharing and delivery of files and application is done through cloud-based storage services such as Google Drive, Dropbox, etc., which are a boon of the cloud technology. Cloud computing has made real-time collaboration possible on the internet with web applications such as Figma and Google Docs, which run on the cloud. Simply put, cloud computing is the delivery of IT resources to the internet on demand. The key component of it being on demand. What is essentially means is instead of setting up your own data centers and servers, you can borrow the infrastructure via the internet from a cloud computing organization or a company on demand basis. This provides for simple, easy to scale, pay for what you get exchange and saves not only financial assets but also saves physical space required by the servers. Now, you don't have to worry about the upkeep and hassle behind maintaining your own data centers and servers physically anymore. It has made scaling up or down a piece of cake. The resources can be accessed in real time as you need it basis according to the growing need of your organization. All of it sounds amazing, doesn't it? But what is the role of open source in all of this? Of course, there's a role of open source and if you haven't yet guessed it, the heart of cloud computing is the kernel that powers the operating system, which to no one's surprise is Linux. This statement is well supported by the fact that Linux is free and open source. Linux systems are modular, power efficient, reliable, scales to support critical workloads and are ubiquitous and hence became an obvious choice for companies to use to sprout their servers. Because Linux is open source based operating system, everything about its core development is open to the public. Linux encourages alternations made in the collaboration with the developer community. This open source approach and inviting constructive feedback from the global network of developers has meant Linux has realized value beyond anything it could have achieved alone. As Linux's creator Todd Wells stated once, I don't want to limit what people can do with my code, I just want their improvements back. These benefits are a result of its development process as contributors are from all walks of digital life and are adapting its capabilities to the serves, uh, to serve their needs. Linux serves everything from single machine operating system to robust multinational networks. Linux is stable and can be configured for everyone with a modular capability that allows developers to implement the most efficient combination of technology. Linux is also security efficient which is a key attribute as it addresses any data concerns organizations may have of being in the public cloud. Being open source enables the community to uh, contribute security patching at the pace and on demand. Having a stable platform with reliable patching delivered a highly scalable environment which is an advantage for enterprises. The essential tool above the operating systems including web servers, FTP servers, DNS servers and so on and on are available for Linux first and in a whole wide variety. Also most of these technologies are open source themselves. All these trends as an operating system means it has a great influence in the market. All the major public cloud providers such as Amazon Web Services to Microsoft Azure as well as Google Cloud Platform use this different version of Linux themselves. So now let's look at a couple of ways how cloud computing is helping technology grow by leaps and bounds. Serverless computing. Serverless computing is cloud computing execution model in which the cloud provider allocates machine resources on demand, taking care of the servers on behalf of their customers. This is a cheaper than setting up your own infrastructure, but at the same time, the systems are highly scalable and easy to maintain. Machine learning. Machine learning, especially deep learning, has always been a field that has required a lot of computing power to deliver accurate results and has always been most elusive to developers. But with platforms such as Google Colab, one gets to access powerful GPUs which they can leverage to train state-of-art models directly from the cloud. Today, a huge number of organizations of every type as well as size have been using it for a wide variety of uses. Uh, cloud computing involves not only infrastructure services such as compute storage and database but also machine learning, IoT and data analytics as well as data backup, disaster management, big data analytics, custom analytics as well as online gaming. Although latency will be a huge issue to tackle for online gaming in, the, in regards to uh, cloud computing in the foreseeable future. However, software as a service or SaaS 
represents the largest segment of global cloud computing market responsible for 125.5 billion US dollars in revenues. The tools and services that are ensuring that our work and our education goes unhindered even in these tough times are mostly powered by the cloud. Be it attending online classes through platforms such as Google Classroom and Google Meet or attending important meetings all have been made possible with the help of cloud. Open source has changed the world. It is an undeniable fact. By putting the power of supercomputers in the hands of every user and developer, even smaller companies can leverage the infrastructure previously limited to the only larger corporations and deliver products that can push the horizon of technology one step further. If you have found our content interesting and helpful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. If you are new to our channel, do check out the other videos in the series. I hope you will find them interesting and resourceful. Comment below if you have used cloud computing in the recent past or looking forward to it and have found cloud computing exciting. With this, we have come to an end to this episode. We will see you again in the next episode. Till then, explore, be curious, may the source be with you.